look at these two beautiful little pieces. They are so neat. It's a trammel points and we're going to clean these up and put a set of bar that we can put this on and demonstrate it. But there's a few things here I want to show you about it. Now, this one here, it's a steel post of course that goes through this brass. And I don't see how that is removable. So I think that's going to have to stay. You can kind of see up in there what that kind of looks like. There's this screw here that seems to be working very well. And I think we'll try to clean that up. So we'll clean that up just as it is. You can kind of see on here what it says, um, Detroit, Michigan. Um, can't make out that top part, maybe you can, I'm not sure. J.W. Stone, I guess I thought this was a Miller's Falls, but maybe it's not. Nothing there on that side. This one here though, let's see. It's got something, man, it's hard to see. I don't know if we're looking at it the right way or not. The other side of this one though, does have some more writing and this one has a date on it. Yeah, I cannot make out that top, the lettering there at the top. But you can make out November 11th, 1873. So I'm not sure if that's when it was made or if that's the patent date. But this piece here is really neat. It's got this threaded thumb screw here at the top that comes off. But then here, this is adjustable. And I don't know if you can see that ramp right there. And you can turn that ramp and there are slots can see those slots right there and that loosens that up and it's got a little you can see the little stop right in there and then that loosens this so that this can be removed or it can be shoved up in there one or the other <clears throat> so I'm not really sure but I want to clean this up I don't think this is removable and I don't want to get too ambitious here and tear it up but we'll try to clean this up just a little bit and try to get it so that we can put it back together let's mill a, a rod for it so that we can put it all together and show how it works <laughs> had this idea that I might take these brass parts and put them in my cartridge tumbler. You see this tumbler is full of walnut shells. They're crushed up walnut shells and you turn them on and they vibrate down in there.
so I think I'm gonna let those vibrate for a couple of hours and we'll just see how nice they come out. Put this lid on it. Tighten it down. Start it up. Here we go. Got them all cleaned up and finished up. The um, tumbler did a great job of shining up the steel. I was kind of disappointed about the brass and the more I've worked with it, I don't think this is brass. I think it's a bronze, which is the alloy is a little different because I compared it to some of my other brass objects that I have around here and it's just not quite as yellow. It's more that copper color. And so I think these are bronze. Now I milled this nice big long rod here to be the trammel. And I've noticed, I don't know if I pointed this out before, but look how much longer that one is than this one. And I suppose there could be a good reason for that if you want that to go down into the center of a hole or something like that. But this one here is adjustable and so what i've done is i'm going to make this on my trammel to be the one that's stationary and i drilled a hole right there so we can take and slide this on there nicely loosen this and let that drop down in there and i think that'll be just about the right size i guess i ought to test it here let's go ahead and put this one on here, we'll slide it down. Yeah, that's about the right size. So we'll tighten that up there. So this one won't move. This one will stay stationary here. But this one here will be able to move and then tighten down with this thumb screw. And so there we have our trammel points and we've got let's see what we have here here's our tape measure let's take and hook this down here and we've got all of 54 and a half inches for the wood but it'll come to like 53 inches here so with the space here that will take up probably we could get a full 52 inches maybe 51 inches here but this will travel out for as far as we need it to to be able to transfer points or to scribe circles or whatever it is it is we want to do with it so here's our stationary end and we can go out quite a ways to be able can't even get it all in the screen there to get it mark it wherever we want to mark so we'll be able to scribe really big circles we could transfer measurements multiple times over and over again once this is set then you've got that distance right there you can make other bars trammels like this that would be of different lengths if you wanted to and in fact I did do just such a thing for a display piece and so I made a small one here like this so that I'll be able to put them both on there we'll hang them up on the wall and that way we don't have to hang this great big long one and there we go the project is all finished up and I think it turned out great this will make a great display piece I also had uh, somebody reach out to me a friend of the channel his name's Raw Bacon, and he did some research on this, and he said it was by George C. Miller, and it was from the Detroit, made in Detroit Bevel and Divider Company. And you see right here where it says Bevel and Divider, and um, there it says Detroit, Michigan, right in there, and over here, I can't make out that top part, but you can see the date, it may be George C. Miller. 
Um, when I picked this up, the label said Miller's Falls, and that may be the confusion there, um, but it wasn't Miller's Falls. This is a completely different company, but it turned out beautifully. What a fun project. <laughs> I tell you, it just makes me smile. Love how it turned out. It's just so beautiful uh, to know that it's this old and has withstood the test of time. And now we can display it here on the wall is just great. And we do have a home for it right over here on the wall. Let's go ahead and put it up. And there we go. Well, we have that for a display. We have this trammel right here that if I ever have a need to use it, I'll have it here in the shop. It's so much fun to be here in the shop and to share these things with you. If you were entertained, please give us a thumbs up. If you know somebody that might enjoy this content, please share the link with them. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscriber button and that bell notification, and that way we'll be able to let you know when another video is up and you'll be able to come visit again. And like I always say, it's great to have you here and hope to see you again soon. As always, here's to you. Have a great day. God bless.